biology person basically. I don't understand hard food physics. But I can only know probably air is a thinner medium, water is a denser medium. That much I understand. Okay. <laughs> well, the index of refraction already told us that, so. Child prodigy, widely known as the Einstein of our time, Subono is internationally known for his phenomenal ability to solve PhD level physics and mathematics problems. Okay, you can sit down. Uh, Alright. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be talking about today is light. Uh, I know. Uh, I'm just going to randomly pick uh, wherever I point to. Sorry. <laughs> Guess I'm gonna go over there so I can hear you guys. <laughs> okay. What did you say? One upon sine c. One upon sine c. Okay. One over sine c. I have no clue what you mean by that, but uh, you're not right. <laughs> of what the critical angle is. And tell me it in words, not equations. Oh, you? My input is that the angle of the latitude is such that the reflected rays progress on the elliptic surface. Well, I can get what you're trying to say, and it's basically correct. So the critical angle, which I'm going to represent by theta c, when an, uh, the angle of incidence theta i is greater than theta c, then theta i is going to be equal to theta r. Can raise their hand? Oh, uh, I'm just going to come over because I can't hear you from the <laughs> way back. Yeah. Oh, same person. Uh, first, uh, reflective index. We can find with the reflective index. Uh, reflective index equals to 1 upon sine c. Sine c. The c is uh, reflective, oh, the critical angle. Uh, well, it does have something to do with the refractive, in, the index of reflection, or ref huh? It does have something to do with the index of refraction, so I guess we did better than last time, but... Louder, I heard something. N2 cannot be greater than N1. Good, good, finally. A good answer regarding something mathematical. <laughs> finally! So now, let me give you a geometrical problem that, again, no one will probably try to solve. Regarding the critical angle. Okay, uh, I probably don't need this array, so there's enough space. So, okay, and I know you guys are freaked out by anything with more sides than a square, but let me draw a, let's not draw over here, let me draw a hexagon. I know this has you guys freaking out. I know you're trying to remember the degree measure of a regular hexagon right now, but don't worry, it's gonna be fine. It's not gonna be fine. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so let's say we have a hexagon half full of water and half full of air. And since you guys, uh, and for you guys, the water is on the bottom because gravity works. So this is water and this is air. Since you guys probably also don't remember the index of refraction of those, I'm gonna write them down too. All right, so now, I know you guys don't know what this is, but let's take the midpoint, yes, the midpoint, and then the light ray is going to depart straight over there. And then it's going to bounce off here. It's going to reflect, so I'm going to draw, try to draw that. And it's going to refract over there. So I want you guys to find out what this angle right here, find this angle. Anyone want to come up here, do it. Anyone? Take out your notebooks and your pens. Do it on paper. Come on, guys. Okay, good, I see someone with a notebook and pay a pen. At least they know what they're doing. Don't, don't shake your head. I mean nods, I mean nods. Someone. Uh, just come up to the board. Okay, please. 
Luis. Okay, well, the index of refractive already told us that. Sure, just give me an idea of how to do an answer. Anything better than a long answer is good at this point. Here. So, this is water, right? Yes, that is water. Okay, so this angle is equal to this angle, and this, these two angles are equal. Okay. Yeah, and then we have... Uh, since this is straight, we have here, this is 90 degree, so you can okay. this angle here, mm. right? Because this is a all height. Uh, uh, yeah, this, these two angles are equal. Then here we have 90 degrees. Sorry to tell you, bud, but uh, the degree measure of one of these is 120 degrees. And since you're splitting it straight down the middle, this is going to be a 60 degree angle. So we can find this since we know this too. Okay. Yeah, then we can use it to to get this angle you want. I uh, guess. So uh, I don't know. Maybe it was better than some of the answers you guys would have provided if I called you up to the board. But eh, let's uh, actually do the two shoes. You can sit back down. It's okay. Yeah. You tried. Okay. So as we know, this is 120 degrees, right? Yeah. Yeah. Clap for him. <laughs> He's probably the best in the crowd.